Hello friends and subscribers of this channel. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to install Visual Studio Code in Linux Ubuntu. But before I start with explanations, I would like to mention the following. Visual Studio Code is definitely my favorite Python and C++ editor. I strongly suggest to new programmers and students learning programming to install and use VS Code. It is very simple to use. In addition to this, it's very easy for me to explain Python or C++ code that is displayed by using VS Code. So let's start immediately. First of all, go to this web page over here. And then over here, you can download the versions that you need. Click on the download and click on Linux Ubuntu. So click here and the download process should start. So here it is. So let's open the file. File is in, is in my downloads folder. Here it is. We will use Linux terminal to install the downloaded file. Click over here, then search over here for terminal. Okay, the file is downloaded in the downloads folder. And so here it is. Consequently, over here, we need to go first to the home folder. We do it like this. Then we will go to the download folder. And here it is. Here's our file over here. Okay, next, we need to do a few things. Let us analyze the extensions of this file. Here they are. This R means that we can read the file. W means that we can write. However, we are missing the executable extension. Although it is possible to install this file without having the exec executable extension, I always like to add the executable extension. So I will type chmod plus x since I want to add the executable extension. And over here, I will simply write code, then press tab, and you can see the auto completion. So let's do this. And then again, let's do this and we can see that we can read, write and execute. Even better, you should run this command like this with sudo. It means that we can actually have even super user writes. So I will enter my password and then you will see a big change over here. So here it is. Good. Let's continue. To install this file, I will type this and over here I will need to write the name of my file. Here it is again. Just type code and tab it will be auto completion and here it is simple as that nothing special now here's the progress here you need to wait a little bit and that's it next let's learn how to run visual studio code first of all close this terminal there are two ways to do that if you click over here and now if you search for code you should be you should see actually Visual Studio Code. Here it is. This is one approach. And then you can click on file, new text file, etc. Another approach that I like the most is to go to the terminal. And over here, you can navigate to any folder you want. For example, I will navigate to my WS move it folder. Move it is basically a folder that I use to install ROS. And over here, you can initialize or, and run at the same time code by typing code and dot. And what will happen now is that you will set this move it folder to be the default folder for your project. And that's it. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.